With less than three weeks before the last U.S. combat troops leave Iraq and nearly nine years after the U.S. invaded to oust Saddam Hussein, President Barack Obama and Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki sat down to discuss the future of the U.S.-Iraq relationship. As a presidential candidate in 2008, Mr. Obama pledged a responsible end to a war begun by his Republican predecessor, George W. Bush. Mr. Obama said he has fulfilled that pledge and in a joint news conference with Mr. Maliki, emphasized that while Iraqis are now responsible for their own security, the U.S. commitment to Iraq's stability and security will not diminish. We've got an enormous investment uh, of blood and treasure uh, in Iraq, and, and we want to make sure that e uh, even as we bring the last troops out, that it's, it's well understood both in Iraq and here in the United States that our commitment to Iraq's success is going to be enduring. Mr. Obama said Iraq faces challenges, including continuing attacks by those who seek to derail Iraq's progress. He said he and Mr. Maliki reaffirmed a common vision of a long-term comprehensive partnership, including cooperation in security, counterterrorism, economic development, and strengthening Iraq's institutions. Mr. Maliki said the U.S. withdrawal symbolizes a successful first stage of the new relationship. We have proven success on the first mission, a very unique success. Nobody imagined that we would succeed in defeating terrorism and the al-Qaeda. We must also establish the necessary steps in order to succeed in our second stage, which is the enduring relationship under the Strategic Framework Agreement. U.S.-Iraq discussions continue on implementation of a Strategic Framework Agreement and on U.S. training for Iraqi forces. Mr. Obama noted that the United States will have no bases in Iraq, but will have a large U.S. diplomatic mission. President Obama paid tribute to the more than one million Americans who served in Iraq, 4,500 fallen Americans and thousands wounded, as well as to Iraqis who gave their lives. They are the reason that we can stand here today. And we owe it to every single one of them. We have a moral obligation to all of them to build a future worthy of their sacrifice. The two men later visited Arlington National Cemetery, where they jointly laid a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Dan Robinson, VOA News, the White House.